everyone, it's Randy on Maui. Um, today I want to talk to you about Hono Hono or Dendrobium Anosmum Care. Um, I live on the island of Maui where they say it's zone 13 USDA map. Um, depends on where you are on the island, but here in Kahului it gets about mid 80s in the summer and the low is probably mid 75 and in the winter it gets down to 60 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and the highs are probably mid 70s so um, how to care for these plants is I have them hanging because they're pendulous plants with their canes um, for the medium, I have them growing in some bark, and I also put some sphagnum moss in there. I'd say probably 75% bark and the other sphagnum. Um, I do that because in the springtime, they like to stay a little more moist. And also, during the growing season, which would be probably like April through late September I'll be fertilizing them. I have some slow release fertilizer in here. Right now I have some Osmo coat sprinkled in there and if you can see all the growth on there it is doing amazing. It looks better than last year actually. So what I do to get them ready for their winter's rest is after Thanksgiving I will take it out of my shade house and I'll put it underneath the eaves over here so let me show you. So for its winter's rest I will take my honohono out of the shade house and I will put it right here. I'll, I'll just attach it right there. Get on there. So it'll get really bright light sometimes um, in the afternoon. The sun hits it and then the leaves start to scorch which is fine because once I put it out here I don't give it any more water and the leaves will start to turn yellow and all fall off. And then you'll be left with bare canes. And then come February time, you'll start to see the nodes right here. You can kind of see where there was buds there. You'll see this swell up. And I believe I have a picture, so I'll post it. You'll see that you'll start to see the buds poke out. And once they look like actual buds, I bring it back into my shade house. Late February or early March, I'll bring it back into the shade house where it'll start to get some water. At that point, my shade house gets water every couple days. And after spring is when I increase the water in my shade house to every other day because it gets kind of rainy here in the springtime. Okay, so for propagation, uh, one year I did not give my honohono its proper winter's rest. So instead of it giving me um, some blooms it gave me some keikis and I think I have an example right here so here's a cane and then keikis start showing up at the nodes and oh, I thought I had a keiki here where did it go oh no it broke off oh well Anyways, yeah, you'll start seeing keikis. Once I see that it's made roots like this, you can pop them off and put it in some moss. Like see, they just pop off easy. 
Then what I'll do is I'll just put it in some moss. Just like that, and then they'll start to grow. Here I have some keikis that's been growing for me for about, I'd say, a year now. So if you can see, they're starting to make more babies, and then hopefully that'll turn into plants. You can see there is a little plant coming off at the base of this plant and a little plant coming on the top of the plant. So <laughs> these multiply like crazy, if you can imagine. Here's a good example of little baby Hono Hono. So they'll probably live here for a while until they get bigger and then I'll pot them up in bigger plant in bigger pots and then eventually when they outgrow those pots I'll put them in hanging baskets or hanging pots. So what I find is plastic pots for them down where I'm at. It's very hot and humid. Plastic pots do just fine for them. But for this one, I'm experimenting with the little wood basket. So they seem to be doing so far so good. All the canes look good and healthy. But yeah, that's how you would propagate your Hono Hono. I think there were some up here. See if you can see there, there's a little cakey. I just redirected that cane right back into the pot so that it could root in. And there you go. Majority of the time, my Hono Hono is in the bright shade. Like you would see the sunshine just barely grazing the canes for a while. So it gets really bright filtered sun for a few hours and then it goes in complete shade. And I find that works best for me. It gives me these really long canes. The more sun you give it, the leaves will be lighter, but I find that the canes are shorter. So I think I found the sweet spot right here for my Hono Hono. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. Mahalo.